Believe it or not, there's an iPhone 6 in that pile of smartphones, and we're going to compare it to Samsung's newly announced Galaxy S6. Which one do you prefer? More importantly, what are the major differences between these two devices? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Coverage of MWC 2015 is brought to you by UNU Electronics. Visit myunu.com or the link in the description to check out the best power accessories for Android and iOS. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom and today we're comparing Samsung's Galaxy S6 to Apple's iPhone 6. These two devices are from completely different areas in the mobile space, but there are still some striking similarities between the two. As far as design goes, Samsung has implemented a fresh new design with the Galaxy S6, which in my opinion looks miles better than its predecessor. Some people have been quick to point out that it appears to be a cross between iPhone 6 and iPhone 4, but honestly, I'm just happy that Samsung ditched the plastic builds found on previous generation smartphones. When it comes to thickness, the 6.8 millimeter frame on the Galaxy S6 wins over the marginally thicker 6.9 millimeters found on the iPhone 6. The Galaxy S6 features a metal frame that's color matched depending on the model and Gorilla Glass 4 covering the front and back side. The build quality here appears to be comparable to the iPhone 6 in nearly every way, but Apple ditched the glass panel design years ago and has stuck with metal housing for the last few models. Unfortunately, the design of the Galaxy S6 and iPhone 6 comes with a few compromises. You won't find a removable battery, SD card expansion, or waterproofing on either device. Around the front of the Galaxy S6, you'll find a 5.1 inch QHD Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, while the iPhone 6 sports a 4.7 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1334 by 750. Above the display, the Galaxy S6 has a 5 megapixel front facing camera, while the iPhone 6 features a 1.2 megapixel shooter. Below the display, Apple's iPhone 6 features a home button with a built-in fingerprint sensor called Touch ID. Samsung launched its own fingerprint sensor with the Galaxy S5, but has majorly improved it on the S6. It works exactly like Touch ID now, but Samsung may have went a little too far in mimicking the setup screen. Samsung also uses two capacitive buttons on the front for navigation through the user interface. On the back side, the Galaxy S6 features a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, LED flash, and a heart rate sensor, while the iPhone 6 sports an 8 megapixel rear shooter, dual tone LED flash, and the Apple logo. The button layout between the two is pretty similar with the volume buttons on the right side and the power or lock switch on the left side, but around the top the Galaxy S6 features an IR blaster. On the bottom end the iPhone 6 sports a microphone, lightning port for charging, and a speaker grill, and with the Galaxy S6 you'll find a very similar layout, but instead we have a micro USB port for charging. On the inside there are a lot of differences between the Galaxy S6 and iPhone iPhone 6 when it comes to RAM and processor details, but if you'd like a full rundown of these specifications, I'll leave an article linked below. Furthermore, if you'd like to check out my Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge hands-on video or my comparison to the Galaxy S5, you can find those links below as well. So which device do you prefer? Let me know with a comment and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it does help out the channel a lot. Thanks again for watching everybody, this is Dom and have a great day.